The player in Articulate Storyline is really flexible. When we talk about the player, we're talking about the user interface that your learners interact with in order to play your course. So it includes everything around the perimeter of your content. Like in this course, it will include this gray frame that we're seeing all around the edges of my slides. It also includes this sidebar over here at the left. It includes any player tabs that we see at the top and also any player controls that you've added to the bottom down here. And what's cool is everything about the player is really customizable. In fact, I'm going to show you just a couple examples so you can see how different a course can look depending on how you configure the player. So contrast this course that we're looking at right here with this one. See how this one doesn't have a sidebar and also the color of this HTML background is quite a bit different. It's also got this custom font up here at the top of the player. Um, it's got a different custom tab up here at the upper right and even the player controls down here at the bottom look a little bit different too. And speaking of controls, you can even get super customized and turn off the built-in controls if you want to create your own controls right on the slide. And that's what we did in this example. Down here at the bottom, these items that we're able to click on look like they're part of the player, but these are actually just objects that we inserted on the slide master. And I just used some simple triggers to make these items jump to specific content when the learner clicks on them. And the player itself in this course, actually everything has been turned off except for this very thin uh, black border that we're seeing around the edges of the slide. And actually, if we wanted to, we could even get rid of that too by making it transparent. So if you're interested in customizing the way your Storyline player looks, what you can do is go to your Home tab and then click the Player button. And that's going to bring up this Player Properties window. And this is where you can work all that magic. You can choose the features that you display on your player. You can also customize the menu. You can attach resources. You can add a glossary to your player. You can also change the colors of your player. Like this one uses a specific color scheme, but if I wanted to jump to you know, something completely different, I could do that and even get into advanced color editing where I change the color of any specific item I want. I can also modify my text labels and I can even configure the way my learner's browser behaves when they launch my course and also whether the resume feature is turned on and if my content happens to be in a right to left language like Hebrew or Arabic, this is where I can set up my player to support that. So to get more details on any of these options, what you can do is check out the links at the bottom of the written tutorial that goes with this screencast and we will hook you up with the steps that you need to follow.